My name is Caroline and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make a two-sided fluffy mat using a sack and yarns. So the only th the, the things you need that is a crochet, yarns, and this is a front side of my mat and this is the back side. So you see both sides are, are covered with yarns. And then the first step that you do is actually measure your yarn and draw the design that you desire. After that, you will make a frame to cover all the yarn. By the end of this video, you will see how I make frame so that everything is covered. Nobody can even know that it is yarn. Yarn is also called gunia. All of you know gunia and this is how a frame will look like. So stay tuned as I show you how I make this mat. And these are some of my frames that you can see and my drawing. So my shape in this mat, I made use a design of triangles and the first thing that I did is I do the triangles and I after I do the triangles I, I wrote which colors I want in each triangle therefore if I'm using maroon I just go to all the maroon triangles and use the maroon yarn until it's over if I go to the gray yarn the gray triangles that I've marked gray I'll just go to Use all the yarn that is, is there for break until I'm done. Because as you can see this crochet, you only insert the yarn once and you go all through. You don't have to cut pieces. So it's a continuous process. And after that, I'll show you how you insert the yarn inside this crochet. So the yarn goes in the top hole and comes out and then there's another yarn. This, you see how the loops are appearing? After you prick, you start just pricking, and this is how when you prick. So, two things: the drawing are at the back of your mat, the, the part that you say the back. And when pricking, you also prick the back of the mat, and this is the front side where you are seeing. I'm showing you the loops, and after you finish that triangle, this is what appears like this, right? and then you close. Like that. You see it's so as I was saying, you just follow a continuous line. You don't leave spaces so that by the end of it the mat the mat appears very flat. And then as you can see this is how the loops are formed. When you are pricking at the back side of your mat following the process, the front side appears like this. And this is unfinished part of the mat, so the remaining colors are not good. And as I said, I'll show you how you can start the video. As you start another triangle, you close it like that. You pick the first hole and you extend the yarn, and you pick the second loop, and then you close it like that. So, it starts to be longer. And then you continue like this. As I said, it's a continuous breaking. As you do that, remember that where the hole is facing, the hole in the crochet, that's how you, you draw the. That's how you, you are going. It just gives you the sense of direction. It's like a streamline. So, if you turn the whole of the crochet, that means that you are turning the direction. And this is how you are making the frame. You just choose the end of the of the sack and then you do like as I'm showing you both sides front and the back front and the back by the time you are done with this it will have covered the whole sack and nobody can actually this is now the end product nobody can actually know this is a sack and this is the mat that I'm going I'm I'm continuing to do that for this my project mat this is the back side and the front. You see how it's looking so beautiful. Okay, I, I hope you like the video. I hope you understand. If there are any questions, please leave them in the comment. And this is my other mat that I did. So if you like the video, remember to share, ask any questions, subscribe, and, and give a thumbs up. And I will be giving you more videos on tutorials on how to do things. Please remember to subscribe. So thank you and God bless you. Bye.